In this video, I want to show you how to install Windows 10 on Ubuntu Linux using VirtualBox. I'm assuming here that you already have VirtualBox installed and enabled on your Ubuntu Linux machine. If you don't have it installed, please take a look at the video in the description that I made earlier that will guide you step by step how to do this. The first step is to download the Windows 10 ISO. If you already have a Windows 10 ISO that is recent, you can skip this step and go to the next step. So open your web browser on your Ubuntu machine and go to microsoft.com slash software dash download and hit enter. And here click on Windows 10. Scroll a little bit and then click on select edition. And then here you only have one option. So select it, Windows 10. Click on confirm and then select the language. Here I'm going to select English. Of course, select the language you want. And then click on confirm. And here I'm going to download the 64-bit version. If you have a 32-bit machine, of course, download the 32-bit version for you. So click on the version you want and then choose save. Then click on OK and the download will start. It's a pretty big file, it's 5.8 gigabytes. So I'm gonna cut this video and come back when this download finishes. So here's the download finishing up. It's almost finished. And now it is completed. So let me open the containing folder by clicking on the icon on the right. And here's the file. So let me close everything now and go to step two, which is creating the virtual machine and virtual box. Open VirtualBox and then click on New and here under Name, name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it Windows 10. Under Machine Folder, keep it by default. For the type, make sure it is Microsoft Windows and for the version, it's selected automatically Windows 10 64-bit. Of course, if you're installing Windows 10 32-bit, change it to Windows 10 32-bit. So here I am OK with the selection. Click on Next you will be prompted to choose a memory size. By default, it gives it 2 GB of RAM. So if your host allows it, like here I have 8 GB on my host, give it more. So I gave it 4 GB of RAM. And then click on Next. The next screen is to create the virtual hard disk. So make sure Create a virtual hard disk now is selected, and then click on Create. For the hard disk file type, make sure VDI is selected, then click on Next. And for the allocation, also choose Dynamically Allocated and then click on Next. For the size, by default, it gives it 50 gigabytes, which is not enough in my opinion. If you have enough free disk space, give it a little bit more. Here, I'm going to give it 80 gigabytes. So I typed 80 and then click on Create. Now that the virtual machine is created, we need to make some adjustments to it and to prepare it also to install Windows 10 on it. So make sure it is selected and then click on Settings. Under General, click on Advanced. We need to enable the shared clipboard. So click on the drop down list next to shared clipboard and select bidirectional. This will allow you to copy and paste text to and from the virtual machine and to your host system. And do the same for drag and drop. So click on the drop down menu next to a drag and drop and select bidirectional also. Now click on system and under system, click on processor and give the virtual machine two CPUs. This will give it more power. Now we need to attach the Windows 10 ISO to the storage. So click on storage, click on empty and then click on the CD on the right of SATA port one, click on choose a disk file. And here select the Windows 10 ISO that we just downloaded, click on open and the ISO file will be attached to the virtual machine. Click on network, make sure it is NAT and then click on OK. And now we are ready to start the virtual machine from the ISO file. So make sure it is selected and then click on start. You will be prompted to choose the startup ISO. Click on the drop down arrow and choose the Windows 10 ISO that we downloaded and then click on start. So the virtual machine will start from the Windows 10 installation media. And this is a normal Windows 10 installation. So here it is starting. So let me minimize VirtualBox. And here's the installation program. 
And let me bring this to the center. So here, choose the language you want. I'm going to keep it on English United States for me. Click on Next and then click on Install Now. And here, if you have a product key, put it. In my case, I'm not going to put a product key. So I'm going to click I don't have a product key. Of course, you can put the product key later and activate Windows. Choose the edition of Windows that you have a product key for and then click on Next. Here I chose Windows 10 Home. Here you have the license agreement. Click I accept and then click on Next. Choose Custom Install and then leave everything by default and then click on Next. So the installation will start. This is the initial phase of the installation. I'm going to cut this video and come back when this initial phase of the installation is almost finished. After the initial phase of the installation is finished, the computer will restart by itself. And now it is restarting. It's important when it restarts that you don't press any key on your keyboard. So let it start now from the virtual hard disk and not from the ISO file. And the installation will continue. So I'm going to accelerate the video here and come back when the configuration phase of the installation starts. So after the VM restarts a couple of times, the configuration of the installation starts. Here it will prompt you to choose your region. It is United States for me. So of course, choose your own region and then click on Next. And here it will prompt you to choose your keyboard layout. Also, it is US for me. And if you want to add another keyboard layout, you can add it here. I'm going to click on Skip. Here it will prompt you to add your account. So here I'm going to log in with my knowledge sharing account. Of course, put your own Outlook account. And then click on Next. You will be prompted to put your password. So put your password and also click on Next. The next step is to create a PIN. So click on Create PIN and then put a PIN of your choice and confirm it and then click on OK. You will be prompted to choose the privacy settings. For me, I like to turn everything off. Of course, choose the settings you want. I advise you to turn everything off. And then click on Accept. And the next step here is to customize your device. In my humble opinion, this is too much information for Microsoft. So I'm going to click on Skip. I'm not going to use my phone, so skip for now. And also, I'm going to save the files only to this PC. So click on only save files to this PC. And I'm not going to use Cortana, so I'm going to click on not now. And the setup will continue. So this is the first time the user is logged in. It will do some setup. It takes a little bit of time. So here I accelerated the video a little bit. And here click on yes for the networks. And now the next step is to install the guest additions. The guest additions will allow the virtual machine to have a more tight integration with the host machine. So for instance, you can put it full screen and so on. So click on devices and then click on insert guest additions CD and then open Explorer. Go to this PC and double click the guest addition CD. And then here, because I'm installing Windows 10 64 bit, I double clicked on the installation file of 64. Click on yes if prompted and the installation will start. Click on next, next, and then install. The installation is pretty fast. Keep reboot now selected and then click on finish. The virtual machine will reboot. Log back in with your username. And now you can resize the size of the machine. You'll notice if you resize it, it will not resize automatically now because the services are still starting. So give it a minute and then try again. And you see that it resizes and you can even put it full screen. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.